Some people were evacuated after a natural gas leak on St. Joe Center Road in Fort Wayne yesterday. And tonight they still have a lot of unanswered questions. The first, why did that fix take so long? News Channel 15's Megan Royce talked with neighbors and folks at NIPSCO today. So, Megan, did officials tell you what the issue was? Mark, they did. NIPSCO says it faced additional challenges with this gas leak. That's because a contractor in the area drilled right into a main. What started off as a brief evacuation around 1 in the afternoon turned into a huge inconvenience for some folks living on St. Joe Center Road. I don't see why it took 12 hours to fix a gas leak. Greg Black lives right across the street from where a contractor drilled into a gas main. He says the smell of the natural gas was overwhelming. It was so strong that you couldn't. It made you sick to smell it. Black and about 20 others were evacuated as a precautionary measure. Half of those folks were quickly allowed to return home. The others, they had to wait until close to 11 p.m. Larry Graham is a public affairs director for NIPSCO. He says they generally evacuate nearby homes and businesses when there are gas leaks. What do we need to do to ensure the safety of the public, uh, safety of uh, our employees and emergency responders. Neighbors I talked with don't understand why it took so long to fix the leak. I would have thought that they had a uh, way to, to shut the gas line off somewhere on a shutoff valve so that it wouldn't keep leaking like it did. Graham says it took a while to find where the leak was. After they discovered the contractor hit a gas main, they had to build a bypass around it. That's what we did in this case, but when you do that, uh, it does require a longer time to bypass or maybe build a pipe bypass around the damaged area, and that results in the leak going on for a longer period of time. Black told me some of his neighbors went back home before they were supposed to. He says that's because they had nowhere else to go and no money for a hotel room. NIPSCO tells me they're still investigating the incident. Reporting in Studio 15, Megan Royce, News Channel 15.